Do 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 Oh. oh, yeah, it's still saying it's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth screaming. Well, there we go. That's Going annoying. live, Tash. You're live on Am YouTube. I? Yeah, Hi, yeah. YouTubers. Oh, you are. There we are. Oh, oh no signal. Oh. Can you come to uh, switch the switch? switch? That yeah, man. quick, switch the switch. I did one. <laughs> ah. It helps when people can see you. And then there was light. And then there was this. Natasha's face. <laughs> I know what it is. You like him to crawl under that there desk. I mean, ah. it's a view. <laughs> Six foot rugby player <laughs> under the desk, yeah. first thing in the morning. Emails going out. <laughs> oh, wait, the email's gone out. Thank you very much. Oh, Lovely. Oh, thank oh, you. Thanks. I mean, it's certainly a view to start the morning with, it isn't is. it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. On your knees, under the desk, switch the switch on. Thanks, chap. Cheers. Ah, brilliant. Good morning. <laughs> How did you start your day? Um, so, this morning we have for you... Pa -pa -pa -pa. Gemma, what did you call this? This, Natasha, I mean I call it many things, but what we went with in the end was the much more palatable fancy flap bag. Apparently that is palatable. Yeah. 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 Fancy Every day flap. feels like an episode of Carry On Crafting. If uh, we ever rebrand... It will be carry on crafting. We are not for the faint hearted, I don't think. Or the easily offended. I don't no. I don't know. No. We're if not. that is you. Yeah. Sorry, we're not your tribe. Yeah. <laughs> we like a giggle. We do like a giggle. Should we see who's here? Um so we've already had men climbing under the desk. That's good. We now have cameras. I I did that thing, Gemma. Yeah. Can you see all of this? This is I prep. I see it. Right? I see it. This is prep, which meant that I was standing here smugly going, ready for the show. Ready for the show. Well, no, I'm only ready for the show if I turn the cameras on. Helps. Good morning. We've got someone watching. There are three comments. Oh, Jimmy's here. Sharon's here. Jane's here. Morning. Claire's here. Morning. Um, I have got for you today the fancy flat bag. I'm going to say again. I did not name this bag. That one in the corner, she named it, and I'm blaming her. She's the cat's mother. Well, Gemma, Gemma did. You said to me, these fabrics, they're beautiful. And they there are. are motifs and details on them that need to be up front and centre. And I said, where are you putting it, Tash? And you went, on me flap. I did say I'm that. I said, you're fancying up your flap. In fact, I wanted to call it the fabulously flamboyant flap bag. Somehow, too many Fs. I don't know how that didn't, how that didn't happen. <laughs> I right. actually let you have your say for once. No, I would, no, it would, not have, it would not have had the word flap. It's like flange and moist. They're right. words okay. that just are a bit So look at icky. your bag. Look at your bag. Where's the butterfly? It's on the flap. It's on your flap. <laughs> it's on the flap. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rebecca Johnson's with me. She says, morning. Morning. Love a, love a fancy flap, me. Yeah, me too. It's just a word that gives me the ick. Ah, uh, that's all right. It gives me the ick. My mum can't stand the word cute, and Emily can't stand the word guac, if you, sh no. if you shorten guacamole. We're a sensitive tribe. Um, Meg Megan doesn't like the word crunch, because it's hard <laughs> at the start and the end. It's too automatic. Crunchy's for fine. Her. Crunchy. Oh, but, but crunch. Crunch. She just gets the ick. There are these words. I don't mind a flap. I especially like a fabulously flamboyant fancy flap like that one. I mean, you can rename it if you want. If you're getting your flap out, don't make it fancy. Make it fancy, yeah. <laughs> fancy flap. Ah, if you too would like a fancy flap, stay tuned. Flaps out today, ladies. Flaps out. This is it. This is the one. Um, I can't. I can't apologise enough. <laughs> I can't actually claim it's going to get any better today. No one's complaining, Tash, just you. Ali okay. says, good morning. I morning. do not have to sit in field gateways today, but watch and giggle with you all. Hurrah. Oh, Lo says a floppy flap is bad. Yeah, no, that one doesn't flop. No, 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 no. That is reinforced with um, H630 both sides, so there's no flop to that flap, yeah. let me double, tell you. It's a double H630 situation. It is a double H630. You make, you make two flaps, yeah. and then you marry them up. Well, you'll see. You'll yeah. see. Anyway, Lowe's here as well. Heather's here. Rebecca's here. Claire's here. Deb's here. It's all good. 
it is all happening. Um, Lo, for those of you that don't know, Lo just does my beautiful jewellery. I've got various bits of Lo stuff on me today. Um, Lo, do you want to just put down there, anybody that um, is looking for Valentine's gifts, you're going to have a cut-off date, aren't you? Do you want to just let everyone know what the cut-off date is? <laughs> the poor innocent Jimmy and his poor ears. Uh, Sorry, Jimmy. Sorry. We believe you, Jimmy. Yeah, do we? Um, Becky, she, Becky's keeping it clean. She says, morning, lovely ladies. Fabulous fabrics, as always. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. So true. Um, Angela says, good morning, everyone. Morning, Angela. Casey says, morning, ladies. Sneaking morning. in whilst working away. That's Karen, That's that is. Okay. Okay. Megan's with us and Ali H and Cynthia says greetings from the big chill. So cold that our schools are on a two hour delay. Schools on a two hour delay? Yeah. What, as in like Ohio. going in? I think so. I think because it's too cold first yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. yep. There was a lot of ice. I took a sneaky shortcut because there were so many um, roadworks on my mm. normal way into school. And I took a back way and it was all icy. I took the road worky way because I knew it would be icy yeah. even though my sat nav kept going you don't want to go that way it's a bad no. idea don't and I thought no better Freddie kept saying to me there's no ice there's no ice I'm like no Freddie the whole road is ice he went oh. <laughs> <laughs> well if you're holding oh. this steering wheel you'd know mm. um Ali says fabulous flap many an f word in freezing cold over the last few days yeah fabulous yeah flappy um, Moyant, fancy, all the Fs. My heating's working. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Flipping fantastic. Flipping fantastic. It certainly is. Um, first was, of February says low. First of February. First of Feb. That's the cutoff. Just the if anybody Valentine. needs to know. Um, ladies, just give your other halves a bit of a nudge. And she's only sort of here. If you do want to buy jewellery from Low, it's Owen P. Silver. She's in the yeah. chat. She, but she's sort only on top. Facebook. Yes. If you if you Google it on that there Google, then it comes up with someone in Birmingham, which oh, isn't low. No. 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 Right, everybody. Um, you want to see some fabrics, don't you? Oh <gasps> yes, please. I confused myself for a second there. No, it's okay. Don't confuse yourself. <laughs> I know. I looked at the bundles and I went, that's not the one. That's uh, because that's the half me to heaven pile. I've got I've got two oh, piles. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You've got piles. Piles to go with your fancy flat. Wow. Well, at your age, I mean. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> I was going to say something actually sensible. My mother watches this show sometimes, Gemma. Morning, Gillian. <laughs> <laughs> Not as much as she used to, strangely. <laughs> Morning, mother. <sighs> um, the donkeys will be calling her. That's why she doesn't... Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse. Good and Daisy. I have a few little things to say to anyone that is a member. If you are a member of the Natasha McCarthy Design Membership Thingamajiggy, if you are buying your fabric kit today and you want um, your little magnetic clasp for free, there's a code I've sent you on your email. Read your email. In fact, you'll be getting a couple of emails from me in the next few days because I've got I've got some exciting stuff coming up for you uh just being loaded is today will be instructions for this which is my quilted clam bag pouch thing yep it has a more succinct title oh, it's a clam pouch. Uh, and the fancy zips there the zip pouches they've been loaded already uh so you're getting quite a few demos i've got another couple to film as well for you so you're gonna have far more than i promised actually but Hey, along with various deals and giveaways along the way. If you are not a member and you would like to be, um, then if you pop over to Natasha McCarty, M C C A R T Y, no H, no H, dot, uh, designs dot com, Natasha McCarty designs dot com, then you can sign up there. We probably have a link from our Natasha Makes website as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the banners. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't put it on our website because our website couldn't handle it because oh. it's a subscription platform and it didn't like no. it so we had to make a whole new thing which is why it's taken me over a year to do um and jane is starting to do hers which is very exciting for quilting we had a big well, meeting about it yesterday situation. oh sorry anyway right let's look at today's 
Oh, overhead, you're driving, aren't you, Jim? I, do you know, I am driving. Yeah. That's a very good point. <laughs> Morning. <Yeah>. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, so, wait, I've got Anna Maria Horner ones, but I also, whilst rummaging in my warehouse, which I do like to do, this is your grandiose. This is from the new uh, vintage collection. Now, because we have a little bit of a stash... I was seeing, was there anything sort of plain-ish that we could do our flaps with out of Kaif? And yes, 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 there is. And it's the Aboriginal dot, which Kaif himself says, use instead of a plane. Yeah. I'm only doing as I'm told. It's his blender, isn't it? Yeah. So, and it is, it's, these colours are in these part of the leaves here. So it felt really nice to be able to put that with it. So this will be your lining, should you wish. But just imagine that's going to be your bag and then you're going to have that as your flap. This obviously comes with a little bit of a heavier price tag, but we have put a discount on there for you because you're getting a metre and a half of cave. I was going to say you're doubling up on your cave. You are doubling up on your cave. Cave and, and caving. here's the other thing, right? <clears throat> You're not going to use all of this. Nope. You're not going to use all of that. So you can then go on and make other things. Okay. Gorgeous. Good, eh? That's one. Tick. Tick, tick. Boom. Natasha, we might have new viewers. If you want to for viewers. the first time, Hi. natashamakes.com. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, pop over to the Workshop Wednesday page or the Watch Live page. And you'll find these lovely things there. And you can buy them and have them yourself at home and stroke them and love them. Forever and ever. Is I know. Right now. Yeah. Stroking and loving. Um, <coughs> this is your grandiose in another colourway. But again, Gemalala, I found more. I don't think we've even got this listed on no. the website. I think I saved it and went, I'm going yes. to use that in a project. <laughs> That's my usual thing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to use it in a project, so I'm not going to list it. So it's my own personal secret. Um, and then walk around ranting, why is this not listed on the website? Why <laughs> can't I find it? Why has nobody <laughs> bought this? Because uh, you told us to take it down. Yep. Oh. I do that. I must be really <laughs> annoying to work for. Anyway. Uh, no. <laughs> comfortable Fine. with it. <laughs> you don't have to say that to people like Fine. them. Um, this, so from a, di from a distance, uh, <laughs> started already. Uh -huh. It's normally me. Just, just making the point, I yeah. it first. Those look stunning together. I know, Ooh. right? I couldn't resist. My I couldn't mommy resist. would like this one. Yeah. Those are her colours. I know. I know, I know, I know. Um, but this pink is actually the dot of your Aboriginal Ooh. dot. And you see then you've got lots of things that you can fussy cut and have fun with. Um, so, yeah. yeah and baby, actually, yeah. Your, your Aboriginal dot is fabulously flamboyant in itself. It's beautiful. So if you wanted it's to, delicately you could, beautiful. You could not do the applique on that what? one. What? You could, if you wanted to, not oh. do the applique. I'm not sure I agree with that. It would still look fabulous. Well, yes, it would, but... But. But. But you've got so much but. scope in that grandiose to find something to applique. <sighs> Tash, these are new. These are brand, brand new. These are from Anna Maria Horner. Yes. Although she's just started now, I've noticed, on this latest, latest collection, just calling herself Anna Maria like Madonna, no Horner. I don't know if that was a, a divorce situation. She's still down as by Anna Maria Horner in little letters, but no, it's oh. Anna Maria. But this collection is called Our Fair Home. There we go. And apparently it's celebrating a momentous move to their new home in Franklin, Tennessee. Yes, they did. Tennessee, they Tennessee. did move. They did move. Mm -hmm. And if you follow her on social media, you see all of her doing up of her beautiful home and... True. And, 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 yep. which is very lovely. Well, they've been in their last family home for nearly 20 years. Yeah. So it was a bit of a wrench. But when she saw this house, her eyes opened wide and she went, oh, no, this is the house. This is the one. But this one you've got in front of you, Tash, is very beautiful. Because she does have 8 million children and only looks about 20. It is she quite amazing. She does look about 20. She does look about me. And, and, and the, the really annoying thing is, she's lovely. We want her secret, Tash. I did ask her. Oh. She wasn't forthcoming with it, I'm going to wow. be honest. It's just rude. Yeah, she looked at me like I was slightly mad. Mm. Bless her. And I had to do quite a lot of shows with her. So, yeah, she's utterly charming. 
utterly, utterly, utterly charming. So we do like to stop her fabrics because we, we love her. But she calls this one neighbourly. And I know why. Why is that? Apparently, her neighbour's abelia shrubs graciously spill over the fence between them and attract a fleet of swallowtail butterflies. And here they are. Hence, it's all there in the neighbourly print. Perfect. It's nice when they've got a story, isn't I it? I like a story. I, love I do this like a story. Periwinkle colour as well. It's absolutely stunning. Divine. I've gone with um, a navy with it because weirdly it works. It does. Just to take that darker blue. Mm -hmm. And it looks <coughs> fabulous on your back, Tash. Yeah. Do you want to look what it's going to look like? There it is. Look at that. <coughs> Ta da! There it is. So much fun. I love it. And that's just one of those butterflies. <coughs> Fussy cut out. <coughs> Steamed on. And it makes it look like you're super duper clever, but actually not tricky at all. Oh, no, but it's true. I know, we it's love true. stuff that makes us look super duper clever, but isn't tricky at all. I know. It's what we excel at. <laughs> if we're honest, <laughs> it is though, isn't yes. it? It really is. Yes. How can we make ourselves look great with very little effort? I'm sorry, but that's just life, isn't it? Yeah. That's what you want in the world. Yeah, of course it's it is. true. Right, would you like to have a look at this version? I nearly demoed in this. I really wanted to demo in this, and then it, I don't know quite what happened, but... <sighs> this fabric's called Compromise Small. I think there's a Compromise Large. Yes, there is. And in any good relationship, there's always going to be <coughs> the odd compromise. I mean, do you know what? It's a decent sized print, so Compromise Large is going to be, be a huge. big boy. Must be massive. Uh, we have people asking yesterday, but what is it? Well, they're flowers that come yeah. around and intertwine. But they, they, but this is what I love about it because it does. They look connected, and some people are saying, "Oh, does it look like a bird?" It can be anything really you want it to be. Mm -hmm. It's you know, there's an element of abstract about it. I I think this is Anna Maria Horner at her best when she does these sorts of things and brings yeah. in these beautiful colours. I really really love it. And if I had been demoing this one, I would have been fussy cutting that on the pocket Fabulous. flap. Done. Boom. It's fabulous. I love it. I might have to just make another one so that I can use this. I want a pencil case. Oh, do you? It looks like a lovely long pencil case, those panel pieces to me. Uh, there's, I mean, Can you see my you're getting, there. so in each of these, you're getting a half metre of the feature and then a metre of the plane. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to use all of that by any means in any of these, so, you know. But I am going to demo in this one today. So you're getting our teal. Yep. And this beautiful, beautiful one here, which is... It's housewarming. Housewarming. And this one, she's called it housewarming because her very dear friend gifted them, on, and their new home, a stunning peony bush. Uh -huh. And then there's the peonies. There you go. Right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I bought Again. my mum a tree at the weekend. Ooh. We had to go to the nursery mm -hmm. and get her a tree for yeah. Christmas. A bit late, but you know. Well, yeah. fair late than ever, yeah. Um, which then meant that everyone had to come home in the car with me because it was just yeah. dad and the tree <laughs> in the car. <laughs> they wanted £40 to deliver. Wow. How very rude. And no. It was only five miles down the road. And no. Like, seriously. Did it fit in the car or did he have to have it, you know, pointing out of a window or... I mean, I didn't look. Okay. Whether or not it was the same height when it reached home. I don't this is know. where I love having a convertible car. There's been many a time yeah. I've picked up an item, put the windows down and the roof down and just plonked it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a massive, when I had an MX-5, I did a massive <coughs> Ikea shop with everything. Um, only, it, yeah, only I did it in London. It was when I was, where I was doing a... What was I doing? Um, I was doing a, a musical in London and um, I... I had Sunday off, so I stayed down, did the show Saturday night, yeah. had Sunday off <coughs> from the show, so went to Ikea on the Sunday morning, filled my little MX-5 with all, all the stuff. It was all, yeah. Lush. Yeah. And then had to drive home with my arm <laughs> holding it down <laughs> all the way up the motorway. <laughs> that was a really bad idea. Um, it was not one of my better moves. No. But, you know, we learn. But you wouldn't have this story to tell now if you hadn't done it, so there's fair. I'm not sure it's that interesting, but... <laughs> No, also true. Funny. All right. No, but it's funny. No. It's all good. No. Um, right. They are our bundles du jour. Lovely. And those new Anna Maria Horner fabrics, yes. Tash, yes. we have got them by the half metre as well. We have. Now, 
we all know, the price of fabrics has gone up. <gasps> We've got a lovely introductory discount on those. Your bundles are your best value mm. if you're making the bag. Mm -hmm. But we have got an introductory discount on the meterage as well. It's, it's <clears throat> the best we can do for you. We are swallowing margins left, right and centre. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it is what it is, isn't it? But we are trying to keep things... It's not all the fun. No, it's not all the fun, you know. And, and we watch our competitors one by one falling yeah. and going, crikey. We'll just keep bringing you everything that we can. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so we do. And here we are. And I think having them on live shows helps yeah. massively. Um, would you like to see Half Me to Heaven? Oh, that'd be great. Those, Tasha, for yes. those who don't know, yes. are our Thursday deal. They are. So what happens is they go live at midnight tonight, or rather midnight tomorrow, because it's technically Thursday, isn't it, by the time it's midnight. And I mean, what we bring you are... Two half metres, one is a designer, and then one is a plane, which perfectly complements. Um, and we've done this ever since lockdown, when we realised that you were all shopping from home, and actually you can't marry up colours effectively on a screen. You just can't. It is a facto life. So we did it for you. We know because we've tried. Yeah, we did. Mm. And do you know what? Do you remember for weeks and weeks and weeks when we first started doing this? Because we started off doing a lot of cave ones. I would have lovely Brandon Mabley from the K Facet Collective on FaceTime going, and what do you think about this one? And they really taught me about colour. They were fabulous. They were so lovely. Um, and I just remember he would always say, it's that little bit of chilli on top. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're looking for, that little bit of chilli on top. And that's so, what we do. What At we do. a cracking price, might I add. It is a cracking price. This is your, your pocket money stash builders. Yeah. That's what this is. We're talking fabrics that go for... You know, anything up to 8.49, a half metre. Yeah, and then we put you a half metre plane in with it. And it's 9.99. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Crazy. Bonkers. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. That'll be why they sell out super quick. Yay. Um, and we often get viewers that stay up until midnight, well past their bedtime. We know you. We know we who see you are. You. We do, we do, we do. <laughs> we applaud you. We do. This is your flower lattice. This is from the brand new vintage <clears> collection. <throat> I say brand new, we've nearly sold out of these. Amazing. We're down to the last the last bits that were half metre heavening. Stunning though, isn't it? We've put it with sage. Check that out. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's just right, Tash. Yeah, it, it is. You see, I can just imagine a beautiful big cushion and then just boarded in that. Lush. Lush, 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 lush. Oh, poor Jan. She says, I'm a new viewer. Trouble is, my broadband's so dire at the moment, I'm only getting one word in ten. Um, I don't know that you're missing much. Our lovely much. viewer. Oh. <laughs> our lovely viewers are so helpful. They say, if you go back ten seconds, it normally fixes it. It can do. Give that a go, Jan. Give that a go. Right. Um, lovely Jane and Chris were trying to put colours together for me for the Half Meet Heavens last night. I came, I'm such a rotter. I came in and changed them all. Um, and went, but look, 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 look. And this wasn't one. We knew that the colour that they'd picked was almost right. Yeah. But this wasn't one that we'd even considered looking at. No. Because technically it's not in there. It's not. I see this. However. But. <coughs> but, but. This is your halfway point between these yeah. greens and this grey background. This is your misty blue. Clever. And it just, when we put it with it, everyone stood back and went. Really shouldn't work, but it really does. Yeah. It's not the green and it's not the grey. No. It's that greeny grey, which is confusing given that it's called misty blue. I know. It, which it Nobody just... understands because there's absolutely no element of blue in there no. at all, but it is called misty blue. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. Works so nicely with that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, gorgeous, says, gorgeous. I remember your first shows I was watching surreptitiously in the office. Now you're my companion at least three days every week whilst oh. I'm working from home. Oh, thanks. Oh, Auntie Lisa says, we appreciate you too, NM. Oh. Thank you very much. And Sue Langford says, morning. Morning. I've just got back from the hairdressers and now feeling too pretty to work. Oh, well, don't then. Don't. Um, don't. Sue, was that, I didn't get a chance to say anything yesterday, bless you. I noticed afterwards she hadn't had a good day. 
Her oh. sewing machine had been playing up and she oh, just wanted no. to throw in the towel and go back to bed. We all oh, have those days, don't we? Yeah. Um, this is the lichen. Oh, I it's lichen got, the lichen. We lichen the lichen. And it has been... Um, I got a massive groan when I said that on Crane Carl. Did you? Yeah. They're, like, oh. they're not our people. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cope with dreadful humour. No. No. We're not, we're not your people, actually. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, but I just thought that grey. And we tried several different shades of grey, not 50, but several. And um, we found that this darkest one was the one. When I came in, um, Chris and Jane were looking at chocolates and oranges. And they were okay. I went, mm, that grey, you know, suddenly makes these pop. Nice. But you've got it, and this is it. You've mm. got to get those fabrics out, and you've got to play. You've got to audition them, and that's what we can do yeah. here. Because, yeah, I was totally with it. The first thing that I would have pulled would have been the paprika and the orange, mm -hmm. and some chocolate. But what so. it did was then just highlight this background mm -hmm. more, and that wasn't what I wanted to focus on. But bringing that in makes everything else pop. It's really wow. weird the way that colour works, but you know, we've tried it, haven't we? Where we've got fabrics coming in. And you're looking at them going, when that comes in, it'll need X to go with it, Y to go with it. And then they arrive, and we, we don't even do it anymore. It's pointless, because you look at it and you go, oh, no, well, that didn't work. This does, though. That really works. Isn't it lovely? We love a dinosaur. Jane said to me, we've never actually done this as a half-metre heaven. Nope. You do realise we've never done the dinosaurs as a half-metre heaven. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I think because I was saving it for yeah. things like the beanbag. The now larger. that Freddie has a beanbag, he's got his child recliner. Yeah. He's very, very happy with it. He, and actually, this is... So if any of you have a 9 slash 10-year-old boy in your life, mm -hmm. um, this was chosen by mine. So I took him to the warehouse sale. I went, not sale, open day thing. Yeah. And this was... I said to Emily and Freddie, you can pick one bolt of fabric each. Yeah. They'll go on the show as your choices. I mean, Emily Fine. chose about four. We'll she let did. That slide. Most of them have sold. Because she does she a really should nice be job. our buyer. Yeah, she chooses really well. <laughs> Now she just wanders around the warehouse going, I think this should go with this. And I'm like, oh, it's a monster. Right. Um, because there's no inhibition. No. No, she's not worried about getting it wrong at all. Whereas, Freddie is more... Do you remember our old headmaster, Mr Stanbridge? Oh, I love Stanners, yes. Do you remember him? And you would know the days that his wife hadn't dressed him. Yeah. Because he would just come in in like eight different shades of green. Green. Yeah. He'd be like, well, it's green, so it goes. We're like, no, it really doesn't. <laughs> really not. And we, did, we used to take the miss out, mick out of him, something shocking, yeah. didn't we? We'd be like, Mrs. Stanbridge, away was she, sir? <laughs> <laughs> and he knew, he took it, well, he always took it in a really good humour, didn't he? He didn't mind because he had three girls of his own. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, in fact, Anna Stanbridge was in our year, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so Freddie's a bit like that. He'll go, well, it's green, so it all goes. Yeah. Mm. No. So I let him choose the fabric, but yeah. I chose what went with it. And that fabric will appeal to your 10-year-old boy, but similarly, mine is a, well, just coming up for 19-year-old girl, and she saw Malcolm had got a little piece of that and was playing with it on a photograph. You had a scrap that you managed to get hold of. She's like, but Mum... The fabric. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. Okay. Well, she loves green, doesn't she? And she loves dinosaurs. She does. So, it's What's there. What's not to love? No, I know. I know. Oh, I see more lichen. I see this. There is more lichen. Oh, this is just... I love the abstractness of it. Yeah. And, the, again, there were various colours that we had looked at for this, for sure. But, actually, what we went with was pomegranate to pull those little flecks of pink... Ace. Pink and green. It's a winner. Yeah, I love pink and green together. Yeah. Love it. Gorgeous. It's like orange and pink, though. People go, oh, no, you shouldn't. Oh, you Have should. Have you seen my orange and pink shoes? Yep. I've told you my cave story, haven't I? Yes. And I had a really bright pink top, and I said, oh, do you think the orange and pink shoes go, or do they clash? And he just looked at me and went, darling, orange is pink. Yeah. Okay. They are the same. Uh, Gabriel says, I love the dinosaur fabric. My Christmas tree had glitter dinosaurs on it. That's a beautiful thing. Perfect. That is a beautiful Mine thing. Mine was covered in glitter hummingbirds. Nothing says happy birthday Jesus like a whole load of dinosaurs. Yep, or hummingbirds <laughs> in my case. All, All over your Christmas yep. tree. Yep, exactly that. Happy birthday Jesus with our beautiful 
not strictly speaking, festive <laughs> items. But we don't care. Sparkle is a sparkle does. And sparkle that's how is, it is sparkle does, yes. Um, <laughs> this is another lichen. Sweet and swoo. Right, so. so again, the blue. Can I just say, right, because the girls have got out uh, pink. Yes. And I'm like, yeah, Works. yeah. But a bit cloyy for my liking. Okay. But it does work. It does work. Yeah. And then I spotted this. And again, I, this is what I love about K Fabrics. You've got to get in and have a good look because it's amazing what you will find. Because he is a colour genius. And this was just around the edges. So I pulled it. Nice. And we, all, and we did that thing where we all took a step back and went, <gasps> but how does that work? It just lightens it, brightens it, gives it lots of joy. Fabulous. Thank Quit you very much. and woo. Quit and woo. And then, completely on a different note, um, this is from the uh, Watcher quilt. Yeah. This is your heartthrob. So if you are making anything, Valentine's Day, for t'other half, and maybe he doesn't like dinosaurs. Yeah, or she. Actually, or she, or yeah. Um, the lichen is quite good for that as well, nice. if you don't want necessarily florals. But yeah, this one, grey and red. Lovely stash builder as well. Always a winning combo. Yeah. Um, this would be very interesting for borders and also for bindings, I think, as well. So it won't surprise you to hear, Natasha, that Sylve is well on board with the idea of a sparkly dinosaur. Yes. Of course you are, Sylve. Sparkly by name. Sparkly by dinosaur. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Look at these lovelies. They're good, aren't they? They're great. Loving them. Loving them, loving so them. So those will go live at, well, strictly speaking, one minute to midnight tonight. You know. You know you lot. You, you sit there pressing refresh on the website. Well, yeah, because we are getting down to the last ones of these. And that was always kind of the ethos hang as on, well. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll have those. I'll have those. Oh, you'll have them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Cheers. Thanks, Tim. Uh, should we get crack a lacking then? Uh, iron is on. Good start. Oh, hang on. Sue says the joys of being married to an aircraft designer means he has the mechanics of an industrial um, under his belt. Oh. However, repairing my machine at 2.30 in the morning took its toll yesterday, particularly after my accident with a car door and an eyeball that could have taken my eyesight. Did nothing to improve my mood. Wow, you really did have one of those days. Oh, yeah. But the machine is fixed and a full night's sleep together with a bit of pampering has improved her mood no end. Oh, good stuff. Sometimes you've just got to have a bit of self-care. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ali says, if I miss something, Chris, just being nosy. Chris is our pal. Pops in, helps out, goes again. Yeah. Strokes some fabric. It's all right. She, her husband is the lead singer in my boyfriend's band. Yeah. That's how it all came yeah. about. And they came around for dinner a couple of months ago, wasn't it now? Yeah. <clears throat> and... Um, she likes and I fabric. had some fabric, yeah, yeah. and she was like, oh, I, and, and yeah, and, and her husband kept saying to me, oh, my wife would like the sort of things you do, because you're a bit crafty and she's a bit crafty, which always sounds like we're a bit devious, but it's not. Yeah, so she not just crafty. likes to come and play. So she comes to play every yeah. now and then, um, and we welcome her, and yeah, and it's lovely. Yeah. Although the other day when she came to play, I'm not going to lie, we just drank wine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I mean, that will have been in the evening, however, just, just to be really clear with everybody. That wasn't a, you know, daytime pursuit. It's not like, you know, Taff was supposed to be the day orders. that Sue would have had, I bet Sue would have been. <laughs> <laughs> 11 oh. o'clock, pop! We're done, <laughs> we thank go. you, we're done. <laughs> we have peaked. Right, I've done a little bit of cutting. Oh, um, excellent. And we are good to go. So, uh, these are our outers. And I'm not going to lie, that looks like one heck of an outer, doesn't it? It does. It does look a bit weird. Bear with. There's method Trust. in madness. Well, or just madness. I don't know which. Um, I'm going to move a bit of madness. that Sorry. across. Move this across. We're good to go. All righty. So let's get um, ironing this on. A little bit of steam on this will help that glue flow. I was saying about this the other day on Crank Craft, I sounded like quite the glue geek. Like a bit like, of well, adhesive. If you uh, apply a little bit of steam, then obviously the temperature of the steam is a little bit more intense and uh, it improves the glue flow. So you might want to do that when you uh, 
Mm -hmm. But I was using their iron and they don't really put much water in their irons because... So. It used to be, when I first started at Craft, it was always a horror for the, for the backstage crew if ever any, any guests wanted to use an iron. Right. They'd have the fire marshals on standby um, because the steam, especially if they used steam, because it would set all the fire alarms off. So it was always a thing that they absolutely dreaded. Now, in our, in our home and in our studio, it's generally just my cooking that sets the alarm off. <laughs> Although, I've had a revelation. Um, I got a possible pot for Christmas. Yes. I love it. I'll post a link for it um, later. I absolutely love it. And today, I'm going to make... And if any of you have got a great recipe, that's what I need from you lot today, please, if I may. A great recipe for a healing chicken soup. A healing chicken a soup. A healing chicken soup. Made my, with healing chickens. Made with healing chickens. <laughs> uh, my beautiful homeopath has broken her hip. She's oh nearly no. 80, bless her. She is not impressed with the standard <coughs> of food at the hospital. How oh. is she possibly going to heal when nothing healing is going in? You're not allowed blah, to take blah. hot stuff into hospitals quite often either, which well, is a little bit annoying. Yeah, but... I am the one that when I've had friends in hospital on Christmas Day have sparkled in little miniatures of things just to brighten their yeah, day. True. I am that person. Um, so, yeah, we'll be taking her something a little bit healing later. Um, and I will make it in my possible pot. I made my curry in my possible pot. Um, I then made myself some um, pineapple tea in it after the kids had their pineapple for dessert last night. And then that leftover pineapple tea then feeds all of the house plants. I'm getting quite domesticated now. Righty, Bob. Because it's full Steady of all the good off. stuff that all the plants need to flourish. And now that the cats go out and they don't try and dig in my plant pots, I'm going to have house plants again, which is a beautiful thing. Nice. Yeah. And there's also a man at Warwick Market that sells um, house plants that he says you cannot kill. I mean, obviously, I take this as like a... Personal challenge. Yes, clearly. <laughs> he reckons I can't kill them. Oh, hi, Mabel. Um, so we're, we're trialling that. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Mabel's in. On your beanbag, Mabes. Beanbag. There she goes. Mabel, on your beanbag. Yeah. There she goes. She's up. Nice work, Mabel. Nice work. Good girl. There we are. She has assumed her show position. Excellent. Right. Um, on the bottom of these. So these are your two outers and then this is your base. That's what we're looking at. Uh, the greatest aspidistra in the world. A what pot? Um, a possible pot. You can, you, can, um, you can do all your normal cooking in it, but you can also put it in the oven. And the best thing about it I'm measuring two and a half inches, by the way, off each end. Um, it's all in the instructions. It is all in the instructions. And then the other thing that it does, which is rather fabulous, it's got a hole in the lid where you balance its special spoony ladly thing. I'm going to be honest. That's when the, you did that, that was the thing. That, that I was went, the oh, thing. Okay. Need one of those. Before that, I was like, yeah, all right. I yeah, will maybe. put a link. I think they might be on sale after Christmas. It was the fact that it got a handy bit you could balance your spoon on. It's brilliant. Simple pleasure. So I never lose the spoon. And yeah, I, I just love it. Um, but yeah, then you can, you can transfer it off the hob then into the oven. Nice. So if you were someone that did like dumplings and stuff or wanted a mashy top on a casserole. Yeah. You could do that. Right. I'm now going, I don't know where I've got my pen because I'm not going to I did dump it. dumplings at the weekend. Did you? I've made dumplings in um, ages. I, I, being a southerner, I don't really understand dumplings. Have you eaten them? No. No, you've got to, otherwise you won't understand. I don't understand. Um, I'm going from that two and a half inch mark up to that corner, up to that edge there. It's a don't knock it till you've tried it situation, Tan. No, I'm not, I'm not knocking it. I, at no point did I knock it. I just said I didn't understand it. No. There okay. is a difference. Do you like a Yorkshire pudding? Who doesn't? Right. But you probably wouldn't have got the concept of that if someone had explained it to you before you'd actually eaten one. What I like are the really, I like the pubs, the gastro pubs that do the massive Yorkshire puddings and then they put your entire roast dinner inside the Yorkshire yeah. pudding. 
That yeah. makes a whole world of sense to me. Yeah. I'm like, yes, bring that on. Thank you and please. That is beautiful. I can get on board with that. I bet Captain Carb can as well. She loves a Yorkshire pudding. No I don't often get Yorkshire puddings because generally Captain Carbs will have done that. For those of you that are like, who's Captain Carb? That's my daughter. <laughs> Miss Emily Alice. Yeah, so, and it's a straight, but that's all I am. Um, I'm going to do the same with the lining, by the way, as well. But that was all I craved when I was pregnant with her was carbohydrates. Yeah. Probably why I put on six and a half stone. But um, <laughs> something to do with that. Uh, with Freddie, it was cherry tomatoes. He cannot get enough of a cherry tomato. Yes, I know. He loves cherry tomato, and I would just eat them by the punnet load. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this now, and then we've got all of that done. Right, that is our cutting done. Now, this is our base, and we will do the same with the base as we do with the top. So, you need to, the easiest way to do this is just to measure in two inches from the end and then just place it their right sides together. I'm going to change the foot on my sewing machine. Oh, steady on. We spoke about this yesterday. I'll change it back in a minute to something else, but just for now. Oh no, where is it? Here we go. So I'm going to use this foot. It's, and I was saying to Jane yesterday, it's my quarter inch foot with a guide on the edge. And I like it, especially if I'm using Styleville. Can we just change the... Uh, Thanks. I um, I particularly like using it when I'm using Styleville because it just the Styleville just butts up against the guide. Now that means that over the years, obviously, it's just pushed it out slightly. So I don't use this one now for um, for my quilting piecing because it's slightly over a quarter of an inch. Um, and I was just saying to Jane, I should really have... Oh, that needs a little tighten. That would help, wouldn't it? Um, I should really have a second one that I keep for my piecing and one for my bag making. I might do that. I also might get in there and tighten that at some point. But there we go. So that's, that's what I'm going to use. The other thing that we keep promising, Gemma, and that we haven't, that I found works really, really well. The clips. Are the hair clips, yeah. The alligator clips. They just... Oh, let me just look at my back. All right. Uh, Why is it not doing I its thing know. today? There we go. Um, a bit laggy. No, it's all right. I need to go back now. I've, I've, ch I've changed. <laughs> you've ch you've I've changed. changed. If you didn't, I would. It's fine. <laughs> um, and when we go to sew the base on... We always find a way, don't we? You can increase your stitch length a little bit because you're going through two layers of Styleville, which is spongy. It's not going to blunt your needle or anything because it's made to be worked with. But I would start a little bit on and then go back. Because if you start slightly off, sometimes with some machines, it you know, you struggle to then get back on. So we are just going to so all the way down there. And there we go. Now, we are going to then open that out like so. And you will go again, right sides together. I think this was the picture that I posted on Facebook yesterday going, what's on your desk? because it had a little tease of the pattern. I like a little tease. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, I love Starville Fix as well. You were really scared of it though. Oh, I was ridiculously scared of Starville Fix. And before I had my Juki, I was convinced my machine wouldn't sew it. Sewing down there. Really and actually, now I just want to use it in everything. It I'm so has... cross with myself that I didn't use it before because it gives your bag so much form. It's beautiful to sew. I love it. I'm quite annoyed with myself that I didn't use it before. I think once you do, you up-level your game, don't you? Yeah. 
And it's, I get it, I used to shy away from it because I was like, oh, it's a bit expensive to add to a project. But actually, if you're going to be using top quality fabrics, just just do it. Makes your bag more robust. It's it really does. Longer. Um, and, you know, at this point, if you wanted to put in bag feet or anything like that, you can. Love me some bag feet as well. Well, do you know what? <laughs> the thing is, if you did short handles and had it just as a... As a short handled bag, bag feet would be really nice because then you'd just be putting it like that. Yeah. I'm now going to clip my sides here. Gemma, we do need to load these alligator clips, don't we? I keep yes. using them and people keep asking. Yeah, we'll get all that information after the show. I've got let's lots of it. sizes in them as well. Exactly. It just holds it so better than quilting clips. You do have to... Um, because it holds it, obviously, you've just then got to be careful how you take them off, but it works for me. I'm going to sew down that side. And then when we've done this, we'll do it all again with the lining. Oh, the fun we will have. So I've got to stop. Take that out. But I tell you what, it's holding those fabrics together. An absolute treat. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. And then we're going to box the bottoms. We're having all the fun this morning, Jen. Yeah. All the fun. Now, actually, as Starville goes, this doesn't use that much. Half a metre should cover it. And again, when I, if it's me designing the bags and it's not another designer's bag, I will always try and look at... Because annoyingly, <coughs> Styleville doesn't come in the same width as quilting weight cotton. It's like 38 inches or something like that. Yep. Um, so I just have to... I'm, I'm often mindful of that so you can get more in. Right, so that's the sides done, like so. Blah, blah, blah. And now on the base, what you want to do is just flatten that out, like so. If you want to put a bit of a clip on one. But that is your straight edge to then sew across. And that will be your bottom done. Now it's a bit puffy. You might want to come from the front there, Gemma because it is a little bit puffy and you're generally just seeing puff. Go on that. There we go. So from the front, that's what we've got. So that side seam goes into the middle there. And what that's doing is creating your shape. A voila, as they say. So for now, that is our bag outer done. Fabulous. That Easy, quick, long. done. No, it really doesn't. Um, we are going to pretty much do the same for the lining. The only difference, obviously this isn't interfaced, um, and then the only other difference that we have with this um, is just that you're going to have to leave a turning through gap um, in one of these. So I will do that now. I'll mark that in now. Leave myself quite a generous turning through gap. I'll put my clips either side so that I'm not tempted to do that. And we're going to stitch down there. So we'll quickly whip up the lining um, and then we can move on to my fancy flat. Dee dee dee. There we go. So bringing it back to the table. We will be repeating that there. So you've got your right sides together. 
Oh, I had a moment, though, last night, Gemma. Oh. Did you notice there was a bit of a gap between me sending through the instructions for um, generally the bag and then the putting the, the flap in the bag? Oh. Yeah, I had a I moment did. where I was like, oh, hang on. Inside out, back to front, which way, what? <laughs> and I totally confused myself. Um, and I had to pin everything, flip it all out, and just to make sure that I'd got it right before I then sewed it all together. And it's, it's weird, isn't it? How many times have I made bags and goodness knows what, but just now and then, now and then I just have a complete block. We've all been there. Yeah. But this is why... We have instructions. Exactly that. Yay! There we go. Right, so now carrying on here. So we've got a turning through gap there. And now we do exactly the same with these sides. And sew them up. Is everyone all right on that there Facebook and YouTube, Gemma Lar? <laughs> Do you know ourselves making the observation that you've got a fancy flap coming up? Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, is a thing. Oh, Joe Standage says, as a child many moons ago, we had the leftover Yorkshire pudding with jam for afters. That's the thing. That's what it's supposed Oof, to be. What? But it's basically a pancake batter. Well, yeah. So it's fine. Yeah, but not if you've made it with, like, beef dripping. Well, then don't make it with beef dripping. But then it doesn't taste as good. I'm going to say there's going to be people say even with beef dripping that the jam is fine. Really? Yeah. Really? I don't know about that. don't know how I feel about that. And it's... Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Fair enough, then. Pancakes for breakfast on Sunday. Oh, lovely. It was really nice. Um, we did a little birthday breakfast with some of our friends down in Cornwall. They'd just got back from the Ukraine. And so we obviously had to celebrate the fact they'd managed to get back safely. And, um, yeah, Eugene came across in po possibly the best jumper I have seen for a very long time. Did I tell you about it? No. Okay, so um, this jumper, had, you know the painting of uh, Christ's Last Supper? Yeah. So it's basically Christ sat Ooh. at the table having his last supper, but with a, with a hat on. It's like the best Christmas oh. jumper with birthday boy. <laughs> Brilliant. I, I love like, it. I, I, it was just, it was brilliant because unless you knew what the art was, you yeah. wouldn't get it. No. Um, but it just made me chuckle Perfect. a lot. I love that. It was, it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Aww. And he said, I wore it the other day and someone said, happy birthday, Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, it's not, not my, my birthday. birthday. It's his. <laughs> and it just, it, uh, yeah, I just, yeah, that Aww. just set the tone for me. Right. Um, I am going to use another of my favourites, oh. this time in black. Oh, nice. Yeah, because uh, I'm Tash, using darker fabric. We have opened a can of worms with the Yorkshire pudding conversation. Oh, no. Lowe says, Yorkshire puddings should only be eaten with thunder and lightning, which is golden syrup and clotted cream. I've got some clotted cream in the fridge. I'm going to say, don't knock it till you've tried it situation. I might have to make some Yorkshire puddings later and put that out. To, I mean, you clotted know, I've, cream and what? And golden syrup. Now, my house is like a youth hostel at the best of times. I have a regular bunch of occupants. It's quite regular for me to have two or more teenage guests or early 20s guests just, you know, littering. crashing out and littering the place. I'm going to say Yorkshire pudding, clotted cream and golden syrup might go down quite well there. Be a winner. It's worth a try. I can put it out to the panel, perhaps, and see. Um, no. Oh, there's lots of people saying they kill plants as well. Sue Lankford says, I can top you lots. I've even managed to kill faux plants. Wow. Wow, oh, that, that takes. That's nice. I've seen that happen in nail salons. 
and they've got pumped top bottles and the acetone splats across the plant and you end up with horrible markings on it. And then I'll, well, what's that one then? <laughs> this is Ray Shaper, for those of you that are wondering what it is. Um, it's meant to be used for dressmaking, mm -hmm. to do the waste. However, no, we've stolen it for bag making. So I've done two width of fabric strips. Yep. I'm going to adhere this on. At this point, I didn't write this instructions, possibly I should have done. If you want to make your handles longer or shorter, yep. this is the point. You've got 44 inches to play with here. I've cut mine to 30. Nice. But Gemma, I know that you might not want such lengthier. No, because I am a foot shorter than you and I do not want my bag dragging on the floor or wrapping me around the knees and tripping me up. <sighs> Kirsty says, I've killed every house plant I've owned over the last 26 years. This will wow. be a challenge for her also. Claire Angelina has also killed every plant she's ever owned. Yeah, it's all going on. I'm waiting to harvest the peppers out of the fish tank. Which still sounds wrong, but I've seen them. They come up out of the fish tank and are hanging there. And this has been a new revelation for me to grow things out the fish tank. But they do something, without getting too nerdy and geeky, they do something to the, the fish, the fish in the water do something to the nitrates, which is absolutely perfect for growing plants. So they all grow very, very happily out the top of the fish tank. And for some reason, it, it doesn't, they don't drown in too much water. It's, it's really strange. I guess it's your basics of hydroponics, isn't it? It is. But um, new Jan. Hello, New Jan. New Jan. We talk about everything. Is, uh, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> she's from Cornwall. Oh, lovely. Where so she says she's used to seeing clotted cream with everything and anything. <sighs> yep. See? Now, the as a fellow corn Cornish type. Wallian. <laughs> mm. Mm. I, go more, I go more pasty. Oh, you love a pasty. I do love a pasty. Yeah. And you know what? My village, my lovely village shop now, um, they let me buy them frozen so I can just take them home and cook them at home when I'm up here. Yep. They know when I come in and the car's laden. They're like, frozen or cooked? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. They look after me. I'll have some frozen ones for when I get home and some cooked ones to eat for on the, the journey. <laughs> For the journey. But it's just a proper meal, isn't it? Yeah, it it's is. Delicious. Well, it is. That's the whole point. That's of the whole point it, wasn't of it. it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Gabriel says definitely a good pudding, Yorkshire pudding, fruit and cream for breakfast. I like You're a leftover. You're struggling with this, aren't you? No, well, no, like I like I like cold curry for breakfast. I'm very oh, happy with that. Wrong. Left, last night's dinner for breakfast is not a problem for me. I don't have a problem with that. And I normally, I would normally put sweet stuff with everything. Um, I'm going to trim then any excess fabric. Maybe it's just a don't knock it till you tried it thing. You know what will happen though, don't you? Whenever oh. we have a Sunday roast, oh. I'm going to end up, the whole oven is just going to be taken up with Yorkshire pudding so that the kids that. can then have it for everything, for every meal under the sun. Yeah, but you see, there's certain things you need to make an excess of with a, crisp, with a Sunday lunch. Case in point being um, roast potatoes. I make oh. tons of roast potatoes because cold roast potatoes are delicious. Right, it doesn't matter how many roast potatoes I make, there are never any left cold. No. They just get eaten throughout the rest of the day. Um, it doesn't Thank matter. I've, I've done this, I've cut this slightly larger. It really doesn't matter because right. you're going to fold it in anyway. Yeah. So James Martin, James Martin, that there chef, says these shores make way too many because cold roast potatoes with butter is a thing. Just sit there with a cold roast potato and a knife and some butter. And I was like, oh, James. Yep. And I think he speaks a lot of ladies' love language, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> it's dirty food, that. Bubble and squeak on a Monday with the cold meats. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, Jan, you see, I don't know whether you found your tribe here, but we do like the food. If we get to quarter past ten and there's been no mention of food, there's something wrong. Yeah. Here, Natasha, mate. Um, Sylv, I'm with you, Sylv. What is a leftover Yorkshire pudding? Well, quite, I mean, this is the concept that I'm also struggling with, for it to last yeah. long enough to be leftover. It's true. Oh, I love cold mash with butter, says Sylv. Something about butter and potatoes. Yeah, and a lot of salt. Salt. A lot of Himalayan mountain salt. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Sarah, Did you know? Oh, yeah. 
Celtic salt has got all the minerals in the exact same proportions as your bones. Really? Yeah. So if you're going to put salt on anything, make it Himalayan or Celtic salt. Oh, that's because incredible. Because then it is, the minerals are readily available for your bones. And if you are a woman who has been on contraceptives for years and years and years, yeah. there is every chance that your bones are going to be depleted from all the essential minerals that have been leaked out over the years. Oh. So as a little... When I have my lemon juice in my yeah. tea in my in my, um, in my hot water yeah there's always a pinch of himalayan salt in there nice. not to taste you can't taste it it's a little a bit. bit in there yeah good i am not going to be one of these women that is scared to fall over in case my bones snap no plus i love the taste of salt so i'm really happy yeah. to whack that on everything Quite. yeah i can't think of anything worse than being scared to move in no. case something snaps that just that doesn't sound like all the fun to me. No. No, not at all. And I know, you know, age happens. It does, but you have to try and do what you can to keep yourself healthy, don't you? Of course you. And if it's tasty along the way, happy days. Very like, happy That is days. not a chore, is it? No, Sue from Lou has a tasty thing. She says that her local lady, Sarah, makes quite the finest pasties. They will even make a fresh one filled with all-day breakfast. Oh, yeah, we have all-day breakfast ones. And we have chicken tikka ones. Um, these are our handles then done, by the way. Let's just quickly do the other one. Um, we have all-day breakfast ones. We have lamb ones. My favourite, not going to lie, is the steak and stilton. Oh, you see, I can't eat stilton. I know you can't. No, but Guy I loves can. the steak and stilton. So steak and stilton yeah. is the one. We, um... Yeah. A large we, one. If we go places we're and there's hole. a steak and stilton option, Guy gets that. It's there. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. And that will fill you up for the rest of the day. Yeah. Perfect. There's a superb pie shop actually local to me in Fladbury. It is an award-winning pie shop. I think you'll be hard-pressed to find a better one. In um, where? Fladbury. I know. Well, that's... Fladbury, not why Fladbury. Have, why have we never been to Fladbury before? Oh, have you not done Fladbury pie shop? That's where I got Guy's big birthday, not a cake, instead he's having a pork pie pie for his birthday. Oh. Yeah. They put oh. lettering on the top that said happy birthday guy in pastry before oh, they baked it and everything. Oh, well, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, Lois just said that uh, roasting the sandwiches. Can I just oh. say, what day is it today? Oh, it's Wednesday. I feel like we should probably and just go down to the old cafe miss. that we used to go to because it's Big Bat Wednesday where she does exactly that. Oh. Where Jane gets her big bats out and slathers them in gravy yeah. and a roast dinner. And Jane has got lovely big bats. She's got lovely They're big, big bats. big and soft and flowery and lovely. Middle of the week when you're feeling a bit ugh, going and burying your face in Jane's lovely big bats just makes you feel a load better. She wouldn't let us do her marketing, strangely no, enough. No, because we and yet, said... <laughs> on an industrial estate, which <laughs> was men. mainly male-driven, yeah. I thought advertising the fact that Jane has lovely big baps would have yeah. been a great thing. We did offer to walk round the industrial estates, 100-plus businesses, yeah. with gravy dribbling down our chin and onto our bazoomage. I mean, to be telling fair, everybody about we did, we did that anyway. We just yeah. didn't tell them where no. we got it from. <laughs> that was just our walk back telling to every, the warehouse. Telling everyone about uh, Jane's lovely big baps. <laughs> oh, our farm rally is telling us all the things this morning. Um, she did notice earlier, I didn't get to say, that in that one fabric of Anna Maria Hornish, you can see pheasants and partridges. And it's one of those fabrics, isn't it? It Ooh. is. It's one of those fabrics. It's like when um, finding all the different colours when you look in the cave fabrics. When you look in the Anna Maria Horner fabrics, you find lots of different things. And I think that's always been, for me, even when I was studying art, that was the thing. It's like, what else can you see in there? Yeah. And, it's, and it was... An English, anything artsy. I want those layers. Yeah. Oh, I don't want it to just be a, this is, this is, this is it. Right. Yeah. Also, Tash, she's yes. making, at the very moment, she happens to be making chicken soup. Oh! Right, so she says. Brilliant. I submerge the chicken in a pan of water yeah. with yeah. onion, potatoes, and the bottom of the fridge vegetables. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've all got those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She says it's affectionately known as bottom of the fridge soup. Okay, no, yeah. that's fine. Um, yeah, if you've got time, Ali. To whack Tash a little email, she'd love for you. Ali, do message. you put in ginger? Because I was going to go garlic, ginger, a little spot of lemon in there as well, and turmeric. Okay. Well, because they're health pastures. It's, yeah, it's yeah, healing, yeah. isn't it? So that's what I was. Um, and a little bit of spring onion as well, because I grow my spring onions on the, on the windowsill. So I've always yes. got a spring onion. You have? 
Yeah. You have. Uh, Megan Freeman says roast dinner pie, big red heart, yeah. um, but also says clotted cream with crusty bread and jam. That I can get on board with. I can imagine this. Well, it's, it's just a, a different scone, isn't it, basically? But I've got clotted cream in the fridge and no scones left over. There you go. And so all these things, I'm mental looting. Yeah, I know, I can see. Yes. Honestly, I can hear the tick, 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 where. We have an Aussie with a Hi, question. Aussie. Very okay. important question. Is it actually, is, is it food no. related? An Aussie. What is Rather a Yorkshire Aussie. pudding? It's not like Aussie Osborne or something. What's the Yorkshire pudding? Uh, it's no, oh. it's not. It's okay. what is Stilton? So Stilton is a little village um, in... Lincolnshire, I think. I think it comes under Lincolnshire. It's not very far from the TV studios that I go to because sometimes I stay in Stilton. Um, anyway, they do the most amazing blue vein cheese. It's a mouldy cheese, basically, but it's it just... Gemma doesn't like it, and I have tried to poison her with it on several times. <laughs> when I do <laughs> leek potato and Stilton soup in my possible pot, and I forget to tell Gemma that it's got a whole load of blue cheese and she has a bit of an, an issue with it. Stilton's um, in Peterborough, you're right. It's, yeah, okay. it's just outside of Peterborough. Yeah. Um, and um, so that is what Stilton is. It's a blue cheese. It's very stinky, but it's best eaten with a load of port. Well, drunk with port. Yeah. It's port a, and Stilton at Christmas is like quite a British You get a thing. blue Stilton and a white Stilton, don't you? Yeah. But the blue Stilton's got like your penicillium mould in it. Yeah. You don't get ill. Brilliant. Um, right. These are my eight inch squares. Now, the reason that I already have a bit of fancy on my flap is because I did a little recording before coming to air about how to use the steamer seam light. Okay, mm. so I'm going to pop these both. These are my flap pieces Ooh. and I'm going to pop them both onto H630. H630 is thinner than H640, which makes it perfect because I don't want to... You don't want too much floof. flap. I don't want a floofy flap. So I'm going for narrow floof on my flap um, and I'm arranging this so that there's going to be approximately a quarter of an inch um, seam all the way around so my eight my h630 is slightly smaller than my flappage um, I will still demonstrate how to use steamer seam because it is my one of choice yeah I do like to use but it's also now it will be going up when I edit it and get it across it will be going up on the membership page in the how to area because oh. we're gradually adding various little things on the how to area nice little close-up images and things videos good isn't it yeah it's good so oh so look self says stew chicken bones and skin before removing maybe add a bit of cinnamon also arnica is great for healing if she hasn't got any with her not in the soup um i mean given that she's a homeopath i would really hope that someone would have taken her her 200 so m too. arnica I would have really hoped I'll message her and find out. Otherwise, I'll take her some of mine. Claire Angelina says, anything else with mould gets thrown out, but that cheese is fine. No, that would get thrown out in my house too. It gets brought here, actually. It gets brought here for me. Anything yeah. disgusting. Yeah. My, my lovely stepdaughter decided she didn't want a birthday cake this year. She wanted a camembert, oh, which was stinking. There you go. Still, oh, yeah, so Stilton's in Cambridgeshire, not Lincolnshire. Oh. It's kind of on the border. So when I lived... Um, when I lived in Peterborough, uh -huh. which is outside of Peterborough, I was 10 minutes outside of Peterborough, I was technically Lincolnshire. But it comes under Peterborough, it's, it's, it's to be annoying. Yeah, yeah, it depends which bit. And they're, they're just the other side. It's just the other side. So, um, right. Steamer seam. What is steamer seam? Steamer seam. This is steamer seam. Steamer seam. Um, I use, you can use bond, bond web, bond and repair, anything like that if you want. But this is a double stick fusible web. I love it. Uh, what does that mean? What does that double stick mean? Um, you'll get it like this. Chop yourself a bit off. Do not use your best fabric scissors uh, because there is an adhesive obviously in there. It's got um, grids on it in case you're doing sort of lettering and stuff like that and you want them all to be the same height. Um, so you can draw onto that side because that is the side that stays on for now should you wish. You get instructions when you get it, by the way. But for those of you that are more visual learners, that's why you're here. So 
this is part of the fabric offcut and I'm going to have a look on the back as to which bits I'm going to place this over so I'll probably pop it across there so I'm just going to trim that back with my gunked up scissors I need I need to find what did I do with that alcohol stuff to clean all the gunk off everything can't remember oh the isopropyl alcohol yeah Hello. Right, so you then peel it off. You want the stick to stay on the grid side. It's very satisfying taking those off. And then you stick that over the bit. And you can see, and it's great, it's, it's clear enough that you can see where you are sticking it. And go, right, yeah, that is over what I want to fussy cut out. And then you apply your heat. Now, you apply your heat to melt the glue into the fabric. Yeah. That's what that is doing. Um, and then with that paper back still on, which really helps, you then fussy cut around any bits that you want to fussy cut. Okay. So get the longest bladed scissors that aren't your best scissors. I'm just going to trim this back a bit. Yeah, Dan's saying what do you use to cut out the flower. Um, not your best scissors. No, next one, next one's down, basically. Um, and then around you go. I like to leave sometimes a little bit of the green or something. I don't, I don't go, I don't make it super accurate. Oh, Ali agrees with what you've said on the soup front. She says, sounds perfect, bung anything in. I think it just needs to be made with good intention and love, Natasha, and then the magic will shine through. Yeah, but you have tasted some of my stuff. Do you remember when I had that awful cold and I lost my sense of taste yeah. and I just, I couldn't taste salt? Yeah. That was the thing I couldn't taste and I just, I went way too much in. That was the day you made the... Horrible soup. Cream, the warm cream with lots of salt in it. It was, I mean, pump, in fairness, it was, pump, it was meant to be pumpkin soup, wasn't it? Yeah, in fairness, it was Monty, pretty Monty gross. ate it and loved it. Mm, I think that Jane, he was just being polite. Jane ate it. I just, I did get to a point where I just went, mm, sauce babes. It's <laughs> all right. But you um, couldn't taste the I thing. I couldn't taste. No, that was, that was, yeah, don't try new recipes. That's no. the other hint and tip. Don't no. try new recipes when you don't have a sense of taste. No, and don't, don't then Inflict serve your friends people. salty, warm cream. It was Wasn't not it? one of my yeah. finest moments, if no. I'm honest. Not one of your finest culinary moments, no. 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 Because normally where a savoury option comes in, we're safe. Yeah. It's only if you're baking that we run. Yeah. So. I don't bake for you guys anymore. Either. No. I'm grateful wretches. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but if I make my chocolate truffles, you're all there. Yeah. I didn't actually. I didn't do that this year. <gasps> no. Oh, I meant to make something for my mum's birthday. I didn't do that either. Terrible. <sighs> Bad daughter. An awful daughter. Awful. Dreadful. Soz mum. She's probably out with the donkeys by now. She won't be watching. So you just cut round. Doobie doobie doo. Well, Cynthia says healing chicken soup, chicken bone broth, small bits of chicken, and no to the wheat noodles because they cause tummy troubles. Use eggs drizzled in like an egg drop soup. Oh. Mm. Now, one said to use pearl couscous or Israel, Israel couscous. Oh. But I've been looking up. I'm like, mm, not sure about that. Not sure about that. So we'll see. Especially as I don't have any in the cupboard. It's going to make it harder as an option. Yeah. Yeah. However, I do have lemon, ginger, and all the other good things. I always think this is a really therapeutic process, this bit. Yeah, sit and watch a movie. But you could sit and make loads, couldn't you? You yeah. could make loads, put them all in a nice box, keep them safe, and then when you have Well, projects, you could, and then when you ask Monty to do your scrap bags, she could just put them all in your scrap bags that you've yeah. pre-cut out, because, yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes you... Just keep them away from staff. Yeah. But you could, you could put them all into... 
it when you've got your fabric scraps, get mm -hmm. your steamer seam, yep. do this, All that. and then you've got them ready. Yeah. Because how many times do we make like a little makeup bag or something like that, and you think, oh, just a just little a little, little motif would be fab. But you can do your letters. So and if your you don't well, have, you yeah, you can personalise everything. If you don't have steamer seam in your in your uh, in your whatever armory. Armory. Yeah. I was going to say arsenal. And I was like, is that the right word? Yeah. I don't know. Fine. But so you can then add that in however you wish. Be aware that you've got your quarter of an inch seam, so probably wouldn't put it there. Probably there. Um, what we can do now, of course, is peel off the back. And this is why I love it. This is where it differs from everything else, is that you can now start to pop it on and place it wherever you want it to be placed. And if it's not in the right place, just peel it off and redo it. It's like fuzzy felt. It's fabulous. It's really fabulous. So I probably won't put another peony on there. I'll probably just leave it at that. But I would be, if I hadn't already sat that down to do the demo earlier, I'd probably be popping those leaves underneath and having it. And so you can just start to create something like so. Now that's sorry, all back to your well and good. Brush. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> that's all right. But to adhere it properly, yes, you've got to use steam. Yeah, and that's why it's called steam a seam. Because otherwise, it's repositionable. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. It's repositionable, but once you've steamed it, it's on. It's on. It's there. So if you mess. don't want to um, sew around it, you don't have to. Yeah. I will just very quickly, and I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm just literally going to shorten my stitch. That's the key here. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to free motion embroider it, because mm -hmm. you can't be bothered to change for or whatever reason, um, then what I would say is just shorten your stitch so that yeah. you can get around. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to change my foot over and do that thing. That's cool. Yeah, so I was just saying, if you're making your soup and adding turmeric, then black pepper or crushed chilli will help absorb the healing bit. Yes, yes, it will. So whenever I give it to the horses, I always put it in with black pepper um, and a little bit of oil. Just helps it to absorb as well. Yeah. Oh, yes. All the good ideas today. Yeah. I love this because it's the hive mind. Yes. We're all about that here. We love a hive mind. We do. Um, now, to, like I say, just... Shorten your stitch length a little bit if you want to do this. Um, and yeah, just crack on, head round. I'm not going to take lots of due care and attention because we could be here for quite some time otherwise. Um, but just a little something just to keep my leaves on. Now, technically, this is a um, this is a permanent fusion, so you should be okay. But we all know what life is like. We do. And also, what I quite like is that quilty look that it then gives. You see, I'm sure that lots of people will have like their mother's recipes and things, but given that my mum's a vegetarian... Yeah, it doesn't work for you. No. So we didn't really have a go-to. If we were ever sick, it would end up being Marmite on toast. That was what you'd have. Marmite on toast. And I, I can kind of see because it's, you oh. know, it's got... It has got good stuff in it, old Marmite. Oh, do you know what? Nothing would make me well quicker than someone trying to make me eat Marmite on toast. I despise Marmite. I'd suddenly make a miraculous recovery and be out the door. I'm sure that's what your mum's plan was. No, she, she knows I love it. Oh, it's foul. Cheese and Marmite bread and butter pudding. Waha, yes. Pardon? Cheese and Marmite bread and butter pudding. Oh, no. It's a beautiful thing. Dear me. Promise. So you see, you don't have to be a fabulous um, free motion 
anything person to just whip round. Should we have a look, a little look at that? Yeah, of course. That is not dreadful. No. So now I'm going to put my other one right sides yep. together. <laughs> what, a, what a great recommendation. It's not dreadful. <laughs> How would you describe your latest make? Well, it's not dreadful. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, me. Um, you don't get the hard sell here at Natasha Makes. No, no, you don't. I think it's fair to say it's not dreadful, unlike most of my cooking. You did get a nice flap from me. Huh? You got a nice flap from me when I saw it. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, no, just giggling to myself. No, I'm very fond of my fancy flats. They just held everything in place, didn't they? Brilliant. Um, I would just snip off. Do you know what? I did wonder how close I came. I'm just going to... It thins out. It's better to do it now. There we go. Mm -hmm. Right, now turn through and press. That's the steam machine. For yes. our international viewers, yes. it's made in the US. Yes. One would assume they can pick that up oh, nicely. Yeah. It's made by the warm US company. US patent number 57166687, if you know you want to know oh, that. There we go. But yeah, so light steam machine too, you can get it in America. And our pattern for today's make is up in digital format. So if you're an international viewer, you can get those patterns now. You can download them and you can make as well. Yeah, make along. Yeah, we'd love that. Mm, good. There we are. Um, Beautiful. Now, give that a good press. Oh, Tash, a beautiful big bloom on your flat. Great. And then I'm going to top stitch around. Yes. Just three sides. You don't need to go all the way around. I love a peony. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Yep, I think that's definitely going to look fabulous. Lovely big peony on your flap. Go to bug. <gasps> you know what I've forgotten to do? What? <gasps> I do know what you've forgotten to do. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Girl, so show everyone on a bit of scrap. Right, before, before you sew all this together, by the way. You're going to have a right old fast trying to do it now. <laughs> This is why we say read the instructions all the way through and then go back. I've just looked at it and oh my goodness. Right, um, magnetic clasps. There we go. Catch yeah. you up. Um, should have instead. And, and that was the whole reason for having your H630 on both sides. Yes. Was so that you had that extra interfacing. It's not the, oh hi Mabel, it's not the end of the world. I think I can do it. Okay, if you so, forget, as Natasha has forgotten, yeah. then this is what you do. Yeah. Just but try not to. Before the two pieces sewn together would make it so much easier. So much easier. So much easier. Where is my ruler? I've lost my little five inchy one. I don't know if Jane used it yesterday. I don't oh. know. The perfect five. Mm. I think in the instructions I went up two inches. Let's say I did. And then you can centre that there. Is it in front? There's a pile of, there was a pile of... Oh, it's, un, it's under your bag outer that you've made. You've plonked it straight on the top. Look. No, it's not my five inch no, one. Yeah. No, that's the big one. Yeah. Oh, it's here. It's here. It's here. I see it next to your whirly gig, between your whirly gig and your pens. Brilliant. There we go. Right. Um, so. It's like, where's Wally? I, I was brilliant. <laughs> um, the way that I insert these is before it's sewn. Helpful. Yeah. And just um, with. With your seam ripper, 
So just draw through the gap of this, which gives you the, the perfect spacing. Pop that through. See, Gemma, it's not the end of the world. We've no, done it. you've managed it. And this is the male part you put in this side. It is. It's the sticky outy bit. Yeah. There we go. Um, and that's it inserted. Bosh. Give it another quick press and pretend that you put it in beforehand. Yeah. Like the instructions because you are following I them love religiously. How easy it is to put one of those in because it is really one of those upgrade things that you do on a bag that just makes it a little more professional. Yeah. Now, members, I'm going to throw you in a beautiful 18 mil one if you open up your email, use your code, and away we go. Yep. Okay. You can have one of those. You can have one of them on us. Now, Well, I mean, that's, that's the cost of half your membership, isn't it? Yeah. For the month. Paid back immediately, if not sooner. Um, on one of these, I'm going to centre and then on one of the sides and then come down four inches. So I'm going to do this now before I forget because we are now at that stage where we are about to make the whole thing. So let's pop... And if you have a definite back and front, make sure this goes on the front. And again. And if you're worried that you're going to go too far with your seam ripper, just pop a pin in to the point at which you wish to stop. That's my other top tip for a you. sacrificial pin. Well, no, it's <coughs> not really even sacrificial. Well, it's more that you don't want to go jabbing into it with a, you know, a nice pin. We, I'd use, yeah. I'd use one of my not favourite pins. Not favourite, not one of my expensive ones. Yeah. Uh, so in that goes magnetic clasp done, which means that when we come to baste and put everything together, uh, we now are going to put our fancy flap, fancy side together. Okay. There now. Let me just measure and make sure that we are equidistant. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Lots mm -hmm. of Marmite fans, Tash. I'm in the minority here. You are. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Absolutely perfectly placed, by the way. Good day. Just in case anybody was wondering. Christina says she makes a cheese and onion quiche and adds marmite to it. Oh, that would be Natasha's yeah. thing. She loves a quiche. She loves a cheese. Yeah. She loves a marmite. Beautiful. Beautiful thing. Um, right. I'm going to actually pay attention this time, Gemma, because the last two bags I've made, I've popped these in the wrong way because I've been chatting and not concentrating. <laughs> and when I say the wrong way, what I mean is... I have not done this when I've got ready to insert my bag handle, which has resulted in one being slightly twisted. Now, there are many things in life that I don't mind being slightly twisted, including my humour. However, with the bag handle, quite frankly, it's just not cricket. So, there it is. I'm going to pick that up as it is, dunk it in here. Right, so, yeah, I've managed to keep that. I'm just going to move, I'm just going to pop these an inch away from the fancy flap. Okay. And you can measure this out. Or you can do this, right, for your second one. Ooh. Get your pin at the ready. And you can just close the bag and then just put them level. That is your other way to really cheat that. There we go. 
and then you don't have to measure it again. How's that for a little cheat, Jim? Nice. Um, I'm going to baste all of those in place so that I can take those pins out. Okay, so I'm going to increase my my um, stitch length. Thank you. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Marvellous. Oh, Tash, I see someone very cleverly putting their advent calendar order in because oh, yeah, we are no. doing a limited number this year, aren't we? I am about the advent calendars, yes, 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 because I've already bought half the stuff for it mm -hmm. so that we can get it packed and get it out. Um, because it takes us, with the number that we do, and we hand wrap, someone was mean about our hand wrapping, and I just thought, well, yeah. then you don't quite understand the ethos of it. Because <clears> the ethos <throat> is not to have lots of landfill. Nope. That's the whole point of it. So it all comes lovingly gift wrapped by ourselves. Brown paper um, packages. In brown paper packages. And that's it. So if you want something that's fancy and schmancy um, and covered in plastic and everything else, buy somewhere else. Um, and I don't mean that in a, I'm not being mean, it's just that, it, because that's not what you're going to get from us. No. Um, those places that do get them mass produced in China, that's not us. We nope. hand pick, we hand choose. They are lovingly chosen from things that we would like to receive and that we have used in, you know, either have things coming up that we will use them in. So for those of you saying, well, I might not use it now, bear with because there's reason they're in there. So yes. throughout the year, there might be things that you will use them for. Um, and then you've got them in your stash. So that's why we do it. Now, this lining is gonna go, turn it through the right way. But yeah, we've already sold a third of more the final number. More than a third. Yeah, no, no, we're more we're than a third. We're knocking on towards a half, yeah, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, there we are, yeah. So if, if our advents, and I love the fact that year on year, we know we're doing something right, because year on year, people come back. Yeah. And uh, we, we have people who buy them on Christmas. On Christmas Day, or <laughs> ask for them ones. for their Christmas yeah. present yeah. as well, which is just so lovely because, and slash terrifying because it means that we've got to make sure they are really lovely in terms of value, which I think we do. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. And the thing is, though, because I don't get anybody else's advents, I don't know how ours are no. by comparison. Nope. We do have people but ask, can you tell me what's in it? We just we do our own thing. No. We don't do that. So no, I it's a surprise. With some advent calendars, in fact, quite a lot now, which I think is a shame, you can turn it over and look on the back and it tells you the entire contents, no. which somewhat spoils the surprise. Yeah. So, no, this is a surprise advent. It's not a one box item with lots of little doors. No. This is individually wrapped packages. You'll get it. I mean, we've sent them out in various shaped boxes over yeah. the years, depending on what it's got in it as to how we can fit them in. Yeah. Did one year we managed to get it in a pizza box. Yeah. One year we got it in a pizza box. The first year we did it, we had wooden boxes, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, you did a couple. Like, you did literally a handful. I did 30 in total yeah. that year. Yeah. And then it went crazy. Yeah. Um, and we couldn't get that many boxes. And some people who had those original wooden boxes... They've kept get them, all their they? bits and they transfer them into the yeah. wooden box when yeah, they yeah. arrive now. I'm going to nice. sew around this hem. So the lining is in, right sides together. I always match the seams first. And if you've just seen me do that, it's to make sure that the, my lining isn't bagging or anything. I know that actually I have cut it right. I've sewn it right. It's just a little belt and braces check Lovely. that I do. But we um, have heard from viewers as well who've got a special box or tin that's, you know, from... Christmas is past. Yeah, That's going to really be a shot. terrible angle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I just saw that flip over and thought, no. Yeah. All it was was a view of your wide bottom. That's what it was. Yeah. Bag bottom. Now, if you want to do this slightly more than quarter of an inch, then do. Um, there's nothing critical there. I, yeah. I don't pin all the way around. Probably should, but I don't. <laughs> oh, we've got a question from Ali who says, is it just me or is the chubby bottom pouch not out on digital? Yes, it is, Ali. It's there. I can see it. And I know it's there because people have been downloading it. So, let me find you the digital instruction. It didn't go up straight away because no. of... A, and often, sometimes, if I'm running a little bit late with the pattern, the digital doesn't go up straight away, especially if there's a template because it will be a situation that we need to test that template. Yeah. The other thing is, just make sure that you've got, it dawned on us the other day, just make sure that you've got like a Adobe or something like that so that our patterns download in the correct format. Yes. 
Um, we had one lady that couldn't get it to download for love nor money. And her pattern went missing in the post. We sent it twice. She reckoned neither one arrived and she now hates us. That's fine. Um, it, it's so frustrating for us because yeah. that is just not what happens. No, I know, I know. There, but there's, I think what you find is that when something goes wrong for one customer, it's going to be that customer continually. Yeah. Yeah. That's just how life goes, isn't it? I've been that customer. And it was really sad. And it's like, well, we've sent it out twice and yeah. you don't have the correct software. <laughs> I don't know what else we can do. It's yeah. tricky. But also make sure when you get those digitals that you select actual size when you're printing. Yes, very these. important. I'm going to turn um, this through. Ali, I'll put you the link on so you can find that. My turning yeah. through there. Oh, Helen says, just a quick one, but I put the case bundle in the basket and the subscription code is not saying not valid. Help. I think you'll need to add your clasp to the basket as well so we know which one you want. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can put your code in. The code's saying not valid because there's nothing for it to for discount. For it to, to discount, yeah, yeah, you've got to add that in. Yep, Joe, we have got the digital on the zip tote as well. The zip tote? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, they're all they're all up in digital for you. Oh, yeah, wouldn't this look... Actually, you'd have enough fabric, wouldn't you, to do the zip tote yeah. out of this bundle as well. That would look lovely as well. Now, you're going to give this a jolly good press. I'm not, but you are. Um, and when you're pressing it, what I would... Oh, yes, a little win. What I would really like you to do is just make sure that your seam is on top. I'm going to stitch around. Um... Just top stitch round. And I might actually just pin the lining down here where my flap is. So I know it's out the way. Just as I top stitch round the top. And then I will tadar it for you. We love a tadar. <coughs> I can't wait to tadar. I know it's a long show and we make a bag, That's so right. we don't always make bags all the time, but sometimes it's fun too. And also it depends what fabrics we've got in. I cannot wait for what's landing today. I'm so excited about the fabrics we've got landing today. Um, so those of you that have been following us, you will know that we have had a few pirate issues. <laughs> Pirate issues, pirate-based <coughs> issues that have meant that everything we had planned, and I was so pleased that I had got myself really organised, ordered the fabrics, knew what we were going to make in advance, discussed with Jane, gone, how about this fabric? What sort of quilt do you want to do with this fabric? We were all super ahead of the game. So we thought. And then some little pirates decided to have a moment and block up all the shit. I mean, it's clever. I mean, if you ever wanted the world to sit up and listen to you, yeah. it's what you've got to do, isn't it? But it's, it's interrupted my fabrics. Yes. <laughs> and again, for those of you that um, follow us on the regular, you will know that we are not a... Uh, we don't do politics here. No. There is a place for it, and it is not at my sewing table. No. So if I ever say stuff, it is generally just tongue-in-cheek. Always. For we would never wish to offend. Never. And as I keep saying to my daughter, offence is taken, not given. Yes, I said this to my stepdaughter a little while ago and her eyes went wide and she sat up. And I think it had quite a profound impact. Yeah. It's so true. But it really is, isn't it? You know, you it can is. choose what you wish to be offended by. Yeah. And certainly at no point would any of us here wish to offend anyone? And if Never. you know us, then you'd know that that would be the case. I mean, apart um, from each other. Not that any... <laughs> oh, apart from each other. No, you and I offend each other on the regular. <laughs> but that's just sport. <laughs> that, is, that is sport after 25 plus years. <laughs> it's longer than either of our marriages. <laughs> and uh, all I'd all like to think... marriages put together. <laughs> yeah, but a little bit of a... Uh, 
A little bit of sport there is a... <laughs> <laughs> Probably oh, what makes our relationship so great. Ah, isn't that sickening? Um, Auntie Lizzie's loving your bag. She says it's looking fabulous. You wait till you see a lovely big flap. Wait. The bag looks fabulous. Oh, so you would do up, you'd sew up your turning through gap yes. as well. Um, you'd take out any extra pins that you've got. You've sewn around the top. You've given it a mighty good press. And then, then you get out your flap. And you love how fancy it is. Fancy oh. flap. Look at that. Look at me fancy flap bag. Lovely. Ah, oh, that's fab, isn't it? Yeah, give everything a right good press. Beautiful. Look at it next to the other one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Get the other one down. Get them together, get them together. I'm like a small child. They look great, don't they? And they look so different, depending on, yeah. obviously, the fabrics that and you are choosing. You've done this whole process start to finish in front of us. It's not like you prepped a load of stuff for I it. I cut it. Cut it took it. me 10 minutes to cut it, if exactly. that. And that's only because I went and made a cup of coffee in the middle of it. Right. And the thing is, we always say this, and if you're new here, you won't know it, but we have a huge arsenal of patterns. Yeah. And we don't mind if you use our patterns and we pride make ourselves on sell. making them easy peasy so you can make and sell and yes. they're also they're not really long ones either no. so you get that sense of achievement because you've you've done it you've made it but hurry. buy our patterns yeah. make things sell your makes a lot of commercial patterns have clauses in them to say no 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 and no and it's you know not for commercial use we don't mind don't the only thing that you can't make and sell is the um is the very hungry caterpillar fabric that's for yeah. gifting. Yeah, so you have to be careful with the actual fabric, making sure that the fabric hasn't got any. But the rest of the fabrics that yeah. we sell. But the, the patterns, which is a bit we have impact over, so you must check your fabrics. But for our for our patterns, you can use our patterns, you can make your items, and you can sell your items. And then when you earn some more money off that, okay. come back and Buy shop with us again. Make and it. keep us here on your screens, because we love what we do for you. But look at this. Looks amazing. And you can imagine this in stall case. all set up oh. with different ones of these. Yeah. You can imagine how impactful those would be. And not necessarily having to do the same. But what yeah. I would then do is like a matching makeup yeah. case or something like that so yeah. that you had... Because then you've got people that are going to come and buy yeah. the collection. And infinity scarves, Tash. Yeah, and a gorgeous. a beautiful scarf to match. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Here we go. Things that are really quick and easy to go with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is today's make. Oh, that looks fabulous. Bish, bosh and bosh. Oh, Claire Upton says, I really love these. I've bought both fabrics for these. Oh, Thank enjoy. You, Claire. Thank you, Claire. Really makes a difference and that is us. how we keep going because of you doing that. Yeah, Lynn says, love, love, love the bags. Sylph says, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Gabriel says, lovely bag. Just needs dinosaur fabric for me. <laughs> That's all right. We Hello, can Angelina supply that. Says, can I use a clasp instead of a magnetic? Uh, sorry, a snap instead of a magnetic. Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. Of course you can use a snap if you want to. But don't anyone be afraid of these magnetic clasps because they're straightforward. Well, yeah, and, and even when I forgot to put it in, it was a second's work to put it in. Yes. Um, and yeah, you can use you can use whatever you want. Quite frankly, and this yes. is where the patterns become yours. Yeah. These are serving suggestions, and then you eke and tweak them however you wish, uh, even if you just use it for the dimensions and the idea, and then and then away you go. Oh, Sue Copy. says, super pretty. Uh, Joe Standage says, everyone has that one friend you can insult and get one straight back. It yeah. is sport for us. It totally, totally is. Although my daughter is getting quite good at it Ooh. with you as well. The other night when oh, she went... savage! Yeah, I know. So, um, <laughs> and I said, I was explaining this shit on yesterday's show, so apologies for those of you that watched yesterday, but Gemma wasn't here to just relive the moment. No. Um, Emily came back from her father with knits. She did. Um, which is a beautiful thing. Yeah. So you were having a good old rummage through to try and yeah. get them out because, you know, you've got better nails than me. Yeah. And, um, and eyes. And eyes, yeah, yeah, you can actually see stuff. And... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, Emily was dobbing you into her father on the phone. She was. Um, you know how you couldn't find any on me? 
Well, Gemma found lots. <laughs> and she says it's because ladies have a better look. <laughs> Mummies have a much better look than daddies. It's like, well, strictly speaking, Ems, I think I said it's because I've got really good eyesight. It's the one thing on me that works really well. And what, she, she came back, back with, with... Sharp as a knife, Tash? Uh, like, but... No. What about your what mouth? What about your mouth, that's it. What about your mouth? That's that works, works really, really well, well, too. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I had to walk away. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> it's wrong, isn't it? But there yep. we go. Yep, she's on form at the minute. Cheeky, Absolutely cheeky, madam. On However, form. can't knock it. Totally true. <laughs> she's got a point. <laughs> oh, dear. Out of the mouths of babes, eh? Well, I told you, didn't I? I told you that Freddie's old school tested his hearing because he's so mm. loud. <laughs> and he came back absolutely fine. Like, we just don't understand why he's so loud and talks all the time. Because he's Freddie. <laughs> Could possibly be because I talk for a living. <laughs> yeah. I talk quite a lot. So, yeah. I'm like, oh. They've got broad vocabularies, all of that stuff. <laughs> it's all down to our incessant rattling. Yabbering. Yeah. And bedtime stories every night. Yeah, all oh, of that. The books we've read. So many books. Anyway, um, we will be back on Monday. We will. Natasha, if anyone's bought the bundles today, because I yes. know some of them Thank will have you. bought the fabric, checked out really yep. quick, etc. Yeah, yeah. Yep. If they're now thinking, oh, I could have done with waist shaper or I could have done with some style fix, fix or whatever or, else. Yeah. If they place a second order today yep. and they pop a note in the notes box, say, please combine my orders. I just want them all to know we will we'll go that. in. We'll check your postage and we'll make sure we refund you any postage that has been overpaid yeah. across those two. The other thing is, if you've got H640 in your stash and you don't want to buy H630, I shouldn't really be saying this, I'm doing myself out of sales. No. But, um, <laughs> but if you want to use H640, then on the other side to reinforce where that clasp is, just put a little square mm -hmm. of... Um, I could just a medium weight into You wouldn't WH640 like no, you do No, because it would be too much. But if you haven't got H630 um, and your budget doesn't run to buying that as well, which is absolutely fine, but you've got a square of H640 to use up, then just do that. Yeah. There's always hacks and ways around. Uh, um, tomorrow is Thursday. I am at Create and Craft 7... I want to say 11 and 1. I'm going to say something yeah. like that. I've got it written in my diary anyway. Um, and, 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 um, on the Higgs and Higgs show, I will be demonstrating this. This is the new pattern that's going into the members um, one. So keep an eye out for an email about this as well. So there'll be a, a, a quick demo on that because mm -hmm. I don't get the full time there. Yep. But you will get the full demo in your membership but it's but a nice make anyway. It's, it's not a, a tricky one. It's, it's, I was going to say it's quick. It is quite quick to make. It's roomy as well. Do you want a quick look? It's the quilted clam pouch. Those instructions are in today's collection. So if you're not a member down. but you want to make it, buy yourself yeah. your instructions. But this, this is it. And for the members, they don't get the instructions in the way that we sell them here at Natasha Makes Tash. It's they all get videos. Video. They get a full video on how to make it. And it's all French seamed inside. Look at that. All French themed, um, and it just and you can you can open it if you unzip it all the way down, you can. So if you've got your makeup or anything in there, you can open it all the way out. Lovely. Um, so that is, yeah, that that is really it. Really nice. And the beautiful thing about it is that I've used some double-sided quilting quilted fabric cotton, for that lovely, quilted cotton. It? Yeah, which um, is on the Higgs and Higgs show tomorrow. But otherwise, I can show you in the video how to make your own. There we go. Claire Angina says, Gemma got burned by a five-year-old. Yep. Yeah, she did. She Sue did. says, can't wait till you have a teenage, Emily. I can. I can. I can wait. I'll send her to live with yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sue, you can have her. That's fine. Mm. Um, Sil says, Emily is priceless. You've got your hands full there. Mm -hmm. Don't we know it? Mm -hmm. And uh, most accurate comment of the day, Claire says, definitely her mother's daughter then. Never a true word spoken. <laughs> My dad just laughs. It, yeah, it's a proper... He just laughs and just says you get everything you deserve. 
She is an old soul who she's has been me. here many yeah. times, I yeah. tell you. Yeah, both, she's hilarious. For sure. For sure. She was chatting yeah, yeah. to my almost 19-year-old the other day on the phone, saying, what did we get for Christmas? For about an and hour. Yeah, I'll, I'll, poor Meg. Poor Meg. She woke poor Meg, Meg who up. hates kids. FaceTimed her, woke <laughs> her up. And was chatting away, asking her what she got for Christmas, telling her what she got. And Meg was saying, well, some of the things I really like were the small things, actually. And she explained what they were. And Emily was like, oh, right, yes, yes. Mm, it's the simple things in life, Megan. It's the simple pleasures. I'm like... She's five. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, Emily. Just wow. She's a, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. You never know what's coming out next. Oh, the beautiful thing that they've discovered, she was really surprised. They call my dad Barry. They do. Like, my dad is my dad. He's he not is. a stepdad or anything. He's just, <laughs> he's just my dad. And when Freddie was little, he was um, Grandad Barry. Yeah. But that became a bit of a mouthful for a little Freddie. Yeah. So he became Granbury. Oh, yeah. Rather than Grandad yeah. Barry. He kept being Granbury. And then it ended up just being shortened to Barry. <laughs> Which my mum has always been worried that people won't know that he's related. I'm like, well, you just need to see them together. It's not a problem. And so <laughs> there was this massive revelation the other day in the car that not everybody has a Barry. No. And that... What do you mean he's our granddad? Like, here's your granddad. <laughs> he's just called Barry. Who? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Gotta love him. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Bless her. Anyway, on that note, we will see you. Well, I'll be on Crankcraft on Thursday and Sunday, actually, this week. Yep. They can't get enough of me. They can't. Oh, bless them. You probably have, but they haven't. So that's <laughs> great. Uh, yeah, so I will be there. In fact, they've just put me in for an extra hour on oh, Sunday. Lovely. Yeah. So, Even yeah. God got a day off. Not you, Tash. You must have been really <laughs> wicked in a previous life. Yeah. But she'll be back here Monday as well. We'll yeah. all be in next week. Yeah. Three more shows for you here on the Today. We'll see you then. Take care. Lots of love. Check out your newsletters. Friday's newsletter is going to be chock full of um, goodies for you. Half me Tevins go. Ooh. Ooh. There's somebody <gasps> at the oh, door. That's our fabric, right? And we're check gonna go. the bowl tens page. Yes. There's all sorts going on. We've been making space for this new fabric. Loads in there. Keep looking. Check it out. I've got two new um, fabric deliveries at, gotta go, at Tash, the door. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> go 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 go.